minutes and 30 seconds of jack shit. Aziz Light! Aziz Light. Luke Perry was hired both by this man and the director of the movie to mark how many times this kid sucks at his job. Also 1914 Egyptian child labor laws. Guy with poison drink stalls like a motherfucker cliche. Then let us, let us toast your fame. This priest is so eager to get the guy to drink the poison he stupidly calls for a toast when there's no alcohol involved. And of course that screws up the plan. The guy would have drank the water, dude. Damn. Now all that hard work you did to get to heaven is ruined. You can't drink a toast with water. This guy is a dick to priests who want to poison him without his knowledge. They're here. So, wait, were the aliens already on their way here? Or are they on standby in case someone discovers the fifth element secret? Does no one want to tell this guy there's a spaceship outside? Like a kid with an iPhone, 1914 Luke Perry's first reaction to the aliens is, Must record this! How did this species evolve? They're robots, and they look extremely cumbersome. If they were made, who makes stuff like this? And if they're a naturally occurring species, why did natural selection take time off to let them survive? Are you German? If they had said yes, what was your next question? How are the stones not safe on Earth anymore if this kind of microchip finger thing is required to even unlock the room they're in? Well, someone needs a sandwich. The fifth element. Roll credits. Board artist has a gun, and board artist draws said gun against obviously ungunnable waddling aliens. They've killed the professor. They're monsters. I explained everything. The professor fainted, right? He didn't drink the poison, so what the hell does a priest have to explain here? Did he faint and die? Okay, so the priest can still stick the key in the door and let this poor bastard out, right? But that's when the aliens said the evil was gonna... Oh. Discount Star Destroyer. Futuristic keyboards only require a few command buttons and the letters V and I. I have a different theory to offer you, sir. Yeah, 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Imagine for a moment. Or wasted 30% of his seconds. Because it is evil. Absolute evil. One more reason to shoot first. Evil begets evil, Mr. President. Quick, throw Hallmark cards at the absolute evil. Better. do you hear me? Get out of there. Does anyone on the ship hear the President's order other than the General? Does anyone think it might be prudent to turn the ship around and blast off at warp speed while their general sits frozen like this? Oh cool, the absolute total evil planet has skull decals for their murder balls. <laughs> Character introduction by way of sudden waking up from a dream cliche. In case you confused it for South Brooklyn, New Jersey. The movie was pretty strict back in 1914 that something was going to happen 300 years later and that's where we are now. But the year is 2263 according to this card, some 349 years later. Welcome to Blossom Paradise! I'm beginning to think Luke Besson watched and lived the movie Friday a lot before making this movie. You watch it all day, sweetie. You'll rot your brain. Why do you shut the cat out of the apartment all night but basically lock it in the apartment all day? This plan is flawed, since you have to hope no one is looking at their security feed while you walk up to the door. Not only that, but you'd have to hold this close enough to the camera for the perspective to be right. But you'd lose light that way, which security cameras need to work. You have 48 hours. That's the length of time it needs to adapt itself to our living conditions. The rapidly expanding evil planet of fire? It needs to adapt to your living conditions? But if evil stands there... Vito plays the self-interruption game so that the president will have to ask what the hell happens if evil stands there. This space border suggests everyone in this movie is thinking about space two-dimensionally. I guess these assholes waited until the robot people were about to give the president some important information before shooting them down. Huge ass ship either has no weaponry or simply never returns fire. Either way, sin. You have what you asked for in a few hours. Despite the fact that we destroyed the ship, we expect the cargo to be intact. Any survivors? Only one. This statement requires the prominent visual aid support of my pointy finger. The compositional elements of his DNA chain are the same as ours. How can you deconstruct the DNA so perfectly and not know it'll be a hot chick? This earth culture has the ability to rebuild an unknown super creature from the DNA of a single hand, but still needs any kind of help defending itself from attack. Also, a movie with this technology will go on to try and make us feel tension at the possible death of many characters who, even if they died, would still have left behind a hand. I might remove a sin for naked Mila Jovovich, but come on, well, that's unique or rare. Told you. Perfect. Yeah, you also said heat. Thermal bandages. I don't know what the thermal bandages do exactly. I'm guessing nothing, but he might as well have said clothing. I'd uh, like to take a few pictures. A good pervert would have taken the pictures before the thermal bandages. Is that thing solid? Unbreakable. This movie is a lot like Species, only with a lot less alien mating. If you want out, you're going to have to learn to develop those communication skills. But if she doesn't have communication skills to understand this ultimatum, despite having been asleep for thousands of years and reconstructed after a spaceship crash, Lilu somehow knows how to open this thing. How'd she know that wall wasn't solid? Perfect. How does anything about her so far demonstrate perfection? Two men with me, the rest in the main ventilation. So the other two men then? Oh god, this civilization represents everything evil face. I think we need a flying unit here. Thankfully, there was literally already a flying unit on the scene and 0.8 seconds away from position when the cop made this call. 
she dove off. What are you, the narrator? Perfect being does not come pre-programmed with English. Boom. Boom. Bada boom. 20 damn seconds of boom, bing, bada boom bullshit. I realize she's desperate, but for all she knows, these words mean kill babies. I've only got one point left on my license, and I need that to get back to the garage and get the cab a, a six-month overhaul. You understand? Right, yes, she understands you. One point has been removed. So he went from five points to one on his license when a person fell from above into his cab, which he couldn't control, but then when he intentionally speeds away from cops that have tethered his cab, he only loses one point. As soon as we finish lunch. I wonder where you might go to lunch. Thank you so much. McCleavage. Look out! Also, Corbin Dallas warns the cops by yelling look out at the same time as hitting them. Hey, everything is backwards in this car. How do they expect to follow simple directions? God damn it! Taxi getting riddled by a thousand bullets somehow misses both passengers. Cool shot, but impossible, even if Anakin Skywalker were piloting. Looking for a priest. The wedding's at one floor down, my son. Lilu told Dallas Vito's name and he found his address in a phone book, but he asked for a priest instead of Vito so this joke could happen. Damn, the future is bereft of sandwiches. Hey, lady. Wake up. She doesn't respond to one voice command, so sure, let's kiss her. And none of the cops on the manhunt for Corbin spotted him his entire trip home. Damn, none of the cops are waiting for him back at his apartment? Those guys are f***ing amateurs. She's learning words by seeing the word and a picture representing the word. But how do you define words like necessity with one picture? Also, none of these words is linked to an accurate picture. Stolen? Who in God's name would do such a thing? Um, aren't the possible suspects kind of limitless? Weren't they originally removed from Earth because of the threat of theft? If they're as precious and powerful as we've been told, then isn't attempted theft kind of expected? There was a man with a limb. Came here about a month ago asking questions about the stones. He said he was an art dealer. And you didn't think that was suspicious at all? Also, thank God this priest has a tendency to talk to himself, so we can get some much-needed information. They really make her... Perfect. I know. Yeah, if she got a boob job, said some casting directors. This case somehow survived the crash. I guess that was the plan. Cause a ship to crash land on Earth, get there before everyone else does, and hope the elements didn't get blown up in the process. Breaks down on four parts, undetectable by X-ray. That thing is undetectable by X-ray? You can't just say shit like that and move on like you didn't just completely reinvent science, man. 3,000 round clip. There's no way this gun holds 3,000 of any kind of bullet. This case is empty. They took the case and didn't even see if anything was in it? Even to verify there's not another case out there? Just bring me those stones. You have one out. But why? Why in the hell is it eating up all the satellites? Damn, evil in the universe hates HBO. The Mondo Chiwa never fully trusted the human race. So they gave up the stones to someone they do trust. Her name is Papa Laguna. This information just happens to be relayed while Zorg's henchman eavesdrops with a mechanical roach. Why would you pilot your surveillance roach on top of a blank table where everyone can see it? This guy spots a cockroach, but doesn't spot the cockroach-sized radio tower on its back? Wait, does this apartment have blinds but no window? You rigged the contest? Mm -hmm. Why would the government need to rig a contest to send Dallas to the planet? Is it illegal to go there if you don't win a contest? Can they not buy tickets to this diva's concert? Do they even need to go to the concert to get the stones? Who is it? What do you mean, who is it? The only person you've ever seen with orange hair. And one you surely knew was in this cab earlier, right? We heard about your good luck on the radio. And thank God, right? Because otherwise, none of these characters would have been able to show up and surprise Corbin had they not heard about his winnings long before he did. Also, military that rigged the contest only shows up a few seconds ahead of a dude who heard about it on the radio. Whatever is being said on this police department document was translated from Sanskrit to Japanese, then to English. Also, they're looking for Corbin Dallas, but the document doesn't have any pictures. You'd think in a micromanagement, everything's on file culture, they'd have one. But conveniently, they don't. I found him. Why is Corbin's door ID on another door? Didn't Lilu rip off this tag earlier? Did she go next door and put it there for some stupid reason? What the fuck? Don't come back without the stones. Unnecessary orders. Corbin Dallas, we got him. How do you fuckers know you need Corbin Dallas? No one told you assholes where the stones were. In fact, all your buddies got blown up by Zorg. So you had to figure out what happened and why, then somehow find someone who knew that the stones were on another planet, and you guys are too damn stupid to have investigative skills like this. Met you twice today. Today? You mean all the shit we've seen since she jumped in his cab happened all in one day? I'll take the mission. Haha, uh -huh. but are they dead? And then it suddenly turned into 1990. How did Corbin get to the spaceport so fast? Unless it's part of his apartment complex, he'd need to drive there. And he doesn't have any more points on his license, and no car except his beat-up taxi that he can't possibly drive anymore. So something crucial is missing from this equation. Just think, if they'd passed boarding, they would have been able to smuggle this ridiculous weapon on board. Are interplanetary flights pretty liberal about guns? <laughs> The director and Chris Tucker had an obvious disagreement about how much Chris Tucker this character actually required. All these other parties had a huge head start on the actual Corbin Dallas, and they all came way too late. Also, I guess the spaceport sorted out that massive shooting spree that just happened four minutes ago because everything is back to normal. So in the future, we somehow revert to the 1960s era flight attendant who wore skimpy outfits and couldn't even get the job if she wasn't smoking hot.
there are so many problems with this future that the movie just leaves unexplored. Hi. Oh, you speak English now. Yes, I learn. Right, the Kung Fu and Mane sh was much more important to learn first. I want all positions! I guess this would be the Lightyear High Club then? So here's Vito looking for a way into the plane, and there's not any. But guess what? He'll find a way inside that even the movie doesn't know. Power pressure. Prime. Is this an Austin Powers movie all of a sudden, or what? Obvious dummy is obvious. Then the gear secure. They're just gonna let this plane take off after an explosion in the terminal? I want the stones. Somehow, a growing fiery planet of death that can make people's heads bleed from light years away still needs said people to retrieve the stones for him. Do space shuttles need runways? Fulston Paradise is totally a discount Hawaii. Power sites and main ventilation. Of course, that's Vito, who this plane didn't detect until they got all the way to another planet. <laughs> Movie forces me to listen to opera. I found it. As easily as these guys broke into the Divas hotel room and found the case, it's a wonder anyone bothered with the whole let's pretend to be Corbin Dallas plan. <laughs> None of these assholes goes to get a gun while she fights hand to hand with these foot soldier assholes. And this guy sees one of his buddies lying unconscious out in the hall and figures, oh, that Gary, always playing dead during important missions. Yeah, pull a gun now when it's way too fing late. <laughs> Hip opera. Lone gunman in this scene conveniently runs out of bullets. She's not done, is she? There were other guys behind that guy she just punched, right? Yeah, there were definitely other guys. She sings one song and gets a standing ovation. Each hotel room comes with an opening in the ceiling so that you can make a quick getaway. First the massive fight, now machine gun fire. Is this ship completely devoid of security? You must give her the stones. Diva plays the pronoun game with Dallas because even higher beings love the game and all of its challenges. She needs your help and your love. She will die. She's perfect, though, right? I mean, what? Zorg waits until he gets all the way back to his ship to confirm if the stones are actually in the crate. The stones, where are they? In me. Well, luckily a big bullet hole just got carved into your abdomen then. Also, what kind of terror were you going to put your entire entourage through if you didn't get shot? Okay, show's done. Time to rip open my stomach and give a white dude some bricks. How did you survive with four bricks stored in your body? Shit, how did you even sink? <laughs> Bullshit reason to keep things tense is bullshit. Corbin Dallas's legs are probably broken. The gun! Dude, use the finger pointy gun sign. Jeez, this movie. Don't shoot! Uh, don't shoot! I don't have, I, I'm not armed! This works. Also, the movie never shows Corbin actually climbing on top of the bar or shows his feet on top of the bar, but it expects you to know that he's at an elevated position. But my head is still swimming on why the dude lets him do this. This guy stands on this plank for no other reason I can think of besides that he somehow knows he's in a movie. He survives the bullets and the two story fall, no problem. Count two. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. One more shot. We'll start getting hostages. One more? Dude, he just took out half your men and you're still playing nice? Also, why don't you shoot the walls? This hotel is built with pretty shoddy materials from what I can tell. You could kill Corbin and get the stones right now. Does anyone else want to shoot this guy since he's only one person? I will never understand these monster warrior guys and their techniques. There. Where is that? That's the diva suite. How the f*** does the priest know that? Is he suddenly an expert on this space cruise ship's schematics? The f***ing f***. Because if it was a bomb, the alarms will go off because all these hotels have bomb detectors. Right? Bomb detectors only detect bombs after 15 minutes of countdown have passed. Also, bomb detectors have an amazing sense of comic timing, if not actual sensing danger timing. Convenient timing ex machina. This one. The only ship left is the one closest to the dock entrance. Are the honor. Bullshit. Everyone evacuated before you even thought to do this. You don't know Corbin is still here, and you definitely don't know Zorg is here. Is there a place inside the fireball that's safe? This movie thinks so. Human death is so strange. What do you mean? Everything you create. Used to destroy. Well, not the flu vaccine, at least. And the paintbrush. A few other things, too, I think. You learn about that on your screen. I'm not finished yet. I'm to V. So, you've learned about both penis and vagina, then, right? Some very good words in V. Valiant. Vulnerable. Vagina. Vaginal. Vaginorific. Premature celebration. This guy's still trying to figure out how to get Harry Potter out of town so that the woman in black doesn't kill him. It's not only advancing, it's moving at incredible speed. Why didn't the giant flaming murder ball go ahead and destroy Earth in the first place? It's the only place where anyone can launch the secret weapon. So why did it bother hiring Zorg to find the stones when it could have just done this in the first place? She hasn't run across battle, murder, fighting, or explosion yet. Also, I like how she's somehow horrified at the footage of war when she's already lived through the same kind of sh Yeah, seriously? You haven't seen this yet? You saw atomic bomb on the first day you went through the English language. Shit. 
Why isn't there a rusty robot missing a key standing at the entrance? You don't know how all this works? Theoretically, yes. Come on, you're a certified priest in this religion. You've been traveling through space for hours, and you're a certified priest in this religion. And had all that time to look at the stones. A certified priest in this religion. And only now are you trying to figure out what to do? So what happens now? So now we have to open them. Jesus, how many pointless steps are there? It's pretty damn easy to figure what the hell she's talking about, even though she could just have come out and said it instead of being so cryptic. Just add wind. Just add fire. If you played the band Earth, Wind, and Fire, you'd be 75% closer to getting the weapon to work. But sometimes they're not available and their fees are astronomical. I think mine is broken, huh? Well, I gotta get the broke one. Chris Tucker is still in this movie. Only one of the important thing left cliché. Corbin unnecessarily holds the match up in the air for a long-ass time. Because I love you. Just like the ancient Egyptians mapped it out. Add a dose of love to the secret weapon, and it works. Trust me. Somewhere on the walls in the beginning of this movie, there's a hieroglyph of a dude with his dick hanging out near the fifth element. Scanner imaging has confirmed the dark planet dead. That's great, but isn't it f***ing with the orbit and or gravity of Earth and the moon? If they have children, will they inherit the ability to stop giant murder planets if you take them to Egypt? I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass two years. Then, after seven years, I was sent home to my family. And now, little man, I gave the watch to you. Do you want to get shot? Beating another man to date with your bare hands. Oh, you weirdo. Are you aiming for these people? No. Well, maybe that mine. There's a red uh, thingy moving toward the green thingy. What? Red thingy moving toward the green thingy. I think I think we're the green thingy. Is it better to be feared or respected? And I say, is it too much to ask for both? They wondered if it'd be possible to fire 500,000. I thought maybe from one of the smaller companies where no one would notice, like one of the cab companies. Fire one million. But 500,000. Everyone! One million. Fine, sir.